What's up guys, welcome to another episode of GK Vapes. Today I'm not going to review a mod, I'm not going to review a tank, I'm going to review a bunch of coils, a bunch of really sophisticated, complex coils from Geek Vape that was sent to me by HeavenGifts.com. <laughs> Packaging that it comes in. This one is a fuse clapton coil, uh, two in one. Fuse clapton coil, two in one. And uh, of course, there are two different types of coils in here, as you can see. And also comes with a coil tool. This is how it looks like at the back. Let's pop it open. And here are the coils. Now that is the coiling rod, the coiling tool, and this is the, and these are the coils right there, right? So uh, the coiling tool itself is the correct diameter because I've purchased some coils that are not the correct diameter. And just look at those coils right there. Really shiny, beautiful coils. Shiny, beautiful coils. Uh, now, I don't have any kind of skills to make coils like this myself. So I either buy them or I don't use them at all. And here's the other one. Okay, this one is going to be a... Uh, Fuse Clapton 24, 20, 24 gauge, right? 24 gauge Cantal A1 and Nichrome 80. So the Nichrome 80 really helps to reduce uh, the resistance, overall resistance of the coils itself. And here is the other coil and this one is even more complex. Frame staple coil 2 in 1. You can see uh, it looks like a fucking mathematical equation right there. So frame staple twisted coil and frame staple fused clapton coils. And here's how it looks like the coils. Huge coils, definitely huge, huge coils. They are so shiny and beautiful. Now, um, I don't think these are the best made coils. And I, d I don't know if you can make this by machines. I'm assuming they have to be handmade up to a certain point. Um, and, you know, coils like this actually cost a lot of money. Uh, when it's handmade and for me right here in Malaysia, it's actually very hard to get a hold of coils like this. I can buy them online, but um, for shipping, I'll end up paying even more than what the coils themselves actually cost. So I have one of it right here uh, on my um, H Cigar VT Inbox and the RDA is the Hadley RDA. I'm going to do a single coil bill. I actually remove one of the wraps, pulse it up and you can see it glows nicely from the inside, right? Um, it does take a little bit of strumming adjustment, but then it works really well. It's got a nice blue color to it as well. And it fits in really nice in my Hadley uh, for single coil build. It's going to be reading at 0.24 ohms. Um, I did remove a wrap, so I guess the, um, the ohms is pretty accurate what's stated on the box. I did remove one wrap out of the coils. Otherwise, I think it's supposed to be a 0.25 ohm. Check that out, man. Check that out. Huge amounts of vapor right there uh, at just about 50 watts. Single coil on my Hadley RDA with a squonk pin and the VT inbox. Man, gone were the days where you actually needed dual coils uh, to be able to produce lots of vapor. And um, I mean, nowadays with, with coils like this, uh, with the composition of the coil, Cantol and Nichrome, <coughs> you get a really good resistance for a lot of your atomizers, should be good enough. For Mac mods as well, but you know, I, I, I don't want to give you a recommendation to use the coils on Mac mods. Uh, there is an ohm stated resistance right there so do your own calculations this is a single coil 0.25 ohm dual coil that'll come up to about 0.1 ohm I, I personally think for a mac mod above one above 0.1 ohm is still in the safe uh, zone again really depends on how you vape don't take my word for it but you do have to do your own research if you want to use the coils in a, a mac mod but otherwise in any other rda it should work really really well and give you really good Vapor and good flavor as well. 
So here's the most interesting thing, of course, to be honest with you, the most interesting thing uh, about the coils themselves is how much they cost. So the frame staple coil 2-in-1, frame staple coil 2-in-1 at heavengifts.com, it's going to cost about uh, 6 88 seven bucks. I, I don't know. They put the price as nine bucks. They slashed that out and now it's seven bucks. So I guess some kind of discount or sale. Right. So about, about nine bucks. Even at nine dollars, it's a very, very good deal. You get eight coils in here. Very, very good deal. Um, for, for custom handmade coils, you're looking at about 19 bucks for a pair maybe 15 bucks for a pair and as I said for me that's always an issue because um, just to test out the coils I have to pay uh, more than what the coils themselves are worth just for shipping alone. The other one here are uh, the Geek Vape Fuse Clapton Coil that's going to cost a bit more actually that's going to cost about eight bucks eight dollars and eight cents I, I don't know what's going on with the eight cents Wait, I do know what's going on with the 8 cents. 8 is a lucky number for Chinese, I guess. Hmm, that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, it's $8.08. .08. Uh, still very, very much, very, very worth it. If you want to get the cost, check the link in the description box below. That will, that will lead you to heavengifts.com. And I'm telling you that you will not regret it. I got it for free, of course. Uh, from heavengifts.com for the purpose of this review but I will any day gladly go and buy myself a lot more I do hope that uh, Geek Vape comes out with other coils as well this one is really great maybe a bit too complicated too, uh, too complex for a lot of people out there so I'm thinking about like you know the mouth to lung kind of uh, crowd I know they just go with single uh, round wire but who knows you know you could come up with a much better coil for mount to lung or smaller tanks a uh, smaller type of wire that would be great as well i hope that they do come up with that in the future walkie dokie no more shimoki <laughs>